everybody i told you i'll see you soon but anyways um i got a lot done since the last video which is yesterday <laughs> so i'm really proud of myself for that pat myself in the back here but anyways um so i got this done um the inside dress is done so now i'm actually starting to work on the outside of this outfit um right now you can see the all the stretchy material that's the fleece uh, I'm lining all my winter cosplay with fleece. So that comes to the next things I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about fleece fabric gatherings and stuff. <laughs> but anyways, as you guys know, a lot of the fleece fabric are actually really expensive. Um, Hobby Lobby runs about, uh, I think it's like $7.99 a yard. And the cheapest is like $6.99 a yard. So um, <clears throat> this one is... Uh, this one's like $8.99, I think. But anyways, it was on sale because people buy this for Christmas probably. And it really doesn't matter what color fleece you buy. Um, I mean, if you want to be accurate to your outfit, like for example, I'm using white right now. So I'm forced to use white because if I put green under white, it'll look kind of weird. But, but that doesn't matter because most of the time when you do color cosplay or any type of cosplay that has color, you can use any color you want under there. Um, as long as it, just keep in mind that what brings out your color more. So, for example, this cosplay, the this one right here, I'm going to have black involved in this. So, I'm most likely going to line mine with green, and no one would know. <laughs> the main thing is to be warm. But anyways, this one I purchased, it's half a yard, and it's only $1.49. So, to me, good deal, you know? So, just go to their remnants, with remnants, remnants, sales, whatever. Um... All their little reduced price to, because they cut it and no one wants it or the person changed their mind. They usually marked it down 50% off on top of whatever the sales price is. So yes, great find. This one I found at Hobby Lobby. If you guys have Hobby Lobby around your neighborhood or area, right now they're having all their Christmas sale. 90% um, off. So I've been gathering a lot of things that's remaining. I'm probably going to visit different Hobby Lobby now because the one near my place is like, eh, nothing left. But that brings me to the next point I have. Yoink! What are these? These are Christmas wraps, like for presents and stuff. And why do you need them? I This is how I see it. These things right now are going for super cheap pretty much everywhere. So what you can do with these is use them for your pattern making. Yes, so if those of you are actually using like um, uh, the pattern packages and stuff that you need to cut out, lay on top of things, well, you can use this and use those pre-made clothes that we mentioned yesterday and lay it on top of these if you want to modify them before you put on anything. So these are great for, I mean, each sheets is like freaking long, <laughs> you know? So these are great for it. Um, this one I'm using for actual Christmas wrap next year, so I'm not going to use it. But you can go to the dollar store and buy these. These are just plain white one that I have. Sure, they're not as long as the Christmas one here, but it still works for me. So here are the white ones, and, or, this is, I'm using this probably for weapon making, and I will show you what's going on next, but this is, you can use for weapon making, because it's a little thicker. I also found this at the dollar store for a dollar, but, Hobby Lobby, guys, 90% off on all their Christmas merchandise. Look how much paper I get out of this, and you know how much this is? Less than a dollar. It's amazing. So this is originally $7.99, so I calculate that. It's probably less than a dollar, but anyways. <laughs> so that's that. But next thing is I've been working on um, weapon patterns all day at work because we were slow. So this is another thing that you can get at the dollar store. In those presentation papers, they are thick and they are durable, so you can actually use them for weapon patterns. Um, I like to use it just to sketch out the idea what I have, which I'll have a video for you later on, um, on those, but this is what I've got done so far. Let me show you. Whee! I also got this fabulous scissor at the dollar store. Paper cutting scissor. Yes. But yes, this is my bow. I decided to make the actual bow right here because come on it's too it's too awesome not to make so I'm actually gonna make it and I've been using the that paper it's two four dollar and yes I'm almost done I got this much done so far and this what you can do later is you can detach it I just also got a piece of like scotch tape roll thingy from there and use that 
But what you can do later is take them apart and put them on actual cardboard that you can actually ask for at Joanne's or Michael's for free cardboard. Just say you're moving and be like, hey, I'm moving. Do you have any cardboard boxes that you don't use I can have? And go home, dismantle that and use it as patterns. And those things are great for backings. I'll show you about those later. But this is what I got done so far. I'm so happy about this. This is like great process of progress. And then another thing I got done that I'm really proud of is ta -da! this is my Nico Olivia gun. Yes, I have a video, a quick video on that as well. But yes, this is the sketch that I do for it. And later again, my main base is going to be the cardboard. And then I'm gonna glue um, styrofoam on it and I'll start sketching and not sketching, sculpting and all that stuff. Every detail is probably going to be made by styrofoam, so um, since I'm traveling with these, I'm thinking of detaching them. So these two, it's going to be detachable, so I'm going to try to find ways to attach these together and break them apart and put them back together at conventions and all that. So yes, that is great news for me because I've got a lot of stuff done. Okay, well anyways, another thing I got at a Hobby Lobby that I used the coupon on because if you guys download the app, you can actually load up the coupon for 40% off on a regular price item and that's what I bought with my coupon. I was gonna buy a heat gun, but their heat gun sucks. So I'm probably gonna go to Joanne's probably and use my 40% off coupon there. Um, Joanne's also have an app. If not, Michael's. They also have an app that you can use too on your phone. But yes, this one, $4.99, knocks it down to maybe half of that. I, I calculated like 50%, but whatever. But yes, I'm gonna use this one. Fabulous wig making because I moved, so I don't have any previous one I have. So that brings me to probably me trying to find a hair cutting scissor. So we'll see what happened then. <laughs> but yeah, I will keep you guys up to date and let's watch the next part. So for Nicky Olivia's shirt, I think it's quite simple. Um, I got this one eighth of an one eighth of a yard at Hobby Lobby for like. 70 cents or something, I don't remember. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is, um, if you guys seen my previous video, remember I mentioned about um, nail polish? Yeah, we're gonna put that to use. And so anyways, so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm not gonna do it now, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out these square pieces right here, all these square pieces, and cut them accordingly. And then after that, I'm gonna seal all the edges with nail polish and after that I will probably um, either sew this on like hand sew it on or literally glue it on fabric glue it on I don't know I'll decide later but as for now I'm, I'm gonna glue it on accordingly you know based on uh, how many there are and so on after that what I'm gonna do is again I'm going to use glue yeah, actually, yeah, either um, nail polish or to seal the edges and then just fold it over to the shirt or I'm gonna do the whole four piece fold thingy, um, depending if I can find an iron or not. So anyway, so how you do that is you, you cut out a square about an inch of a piece, about an inch of this, and then you fold in a little bit, you iron it, flatten it, and then you do the same to the other side. And then what you're gonna do, here, let me actually demonstrate I'm so sorry guys, I have like one hand. <laughs> anyway, so first you fold it in and then you fold it in again. And you see those little thing that they sell at the store? Um, like buck something I guess, but they don't have the color I want so I can't just go and buy it. So I have to make my own. But anyway, you fold it in like this and then after that what you do is you fold it in again and then iron it so that way it will flatten. And then what you do later is you just clips it into these edges here like so. You see that? So by then, I will have my little square pieces, so it will all work out, hopefully, to look like that. Yes. So, remember, look at, check out the gun. Check out that gun. Yes, that gun right there. It's going to get to work once my X-Acto knife and my heat gun gets here. Why? Because I'm going to be doing some um, painting and then heat gunning and then painting and then heat gunning. It's going to be super fast. <laughs> I'll show you guys when it gets to that. So yeah, looking great, you guys. It's coming together. I just ordered a new wig because the current wig I have is not working out. 
And I just need to make her belt. I will probably do it out of craft foam. Just because. But anyway, yeah. Uh, after that, it should all be complete very soon.